Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Austria-Hungary, episode number 5. Some mixed receptions to the, the peace agreement in the comments section. Not everyone a, a huge fan of me giving away territory to the Germans, but I, I think it'll be fine. Just gives us an opportunity to go to war with the Germans later. They would normally not provide anything of value. Right now, Italy can still provide some value because there's still Sardinia that I did. I, I would have gotten for Ardonia, our Sardinia and Rhodes, which means that Germany probably would have taken... Oh, if they had taken Eritrea, that would have been just fine by me, actually. I wouldn't have cared. <laughs> they can have it. Or if they had taken, I mean, if they had taken Morocco. Two good options. Libya is something I'm going to want, and Rhodes is definitely something I'm going to want. So... We will probably come to blows. Now, first order of business is to mothball as much as we can, even though the mothballing of various things kind of got us into a <clears throat> poor situation in, ter in terms of crew quality. We're still going to go with that. Okay, so let's mothball. Oh, well, we're probably not going to be able to mothball all these things. We might need to keep another one of these around. Let's see, 600, 16,000. I think per ton, the battleships are actually the cheapest to um, reserve versus mothball. It's a little bit weird, but this whole group is going to get mothballed. Where does that put us? Well, it looks like the Struvelpita uh, is... It's actually, some of them are in good condition. I, I really do hate to mothball those, but that's just the way it goes. These things happen. So we should be fine because the two and the ones, these are all counted as active fleet. So we have a little bit of time. Honestly, if we had any ships that were on reserve, that, I mean, um, halted, this would probably be a good time to actually continue building them. Because this is not bad. This is better than I expected. Okay, okay, the Kaiser wants me to unmothball at least one of these. Well, let, why don't I why don't I unmothball this one and see if that satisfies him? And it did. Okay, so we have more um, weight savings on the whole. These are just constantly making your ships a little bit better. Shipyard experience with class has shortened the construction time of one of our corvettes. Not a big deal, but it still saves us a month of construction money means 115 okay we're not gonna lose too much sleep or get much sleep back for that okay a sudden slump in the economy has led to unemployment <sighs> again I don't really know what this one does but I will take the tensions up and oh, by the way I should mention the doctrines we're not we haven't been doing this yet this usually gives you a huge advantage uh, in terms of gunfire. Since we've been doing pure torpedo aggression, you might think we'd go for torpedo warfare, and we will. <clears throat> but I don't think it really matters that much. Honestly, maybe I'll even just go for... Maybe I don't even want torpedo warfare, because the solutions are supposed to be improved when you uh, choose torpedo warfare. But what else happens? So with Captain's Mode on, us being able to launch torpedoes ourselves helps, like, a lot. Because I think this also increases the chances that they launch torpedoes when there's a good target. But we have the ability to determine that ourselves. I'm starting to think that the only one we really need to do is gunnery. And this is a completely new viewpoint. In fact, I would I think I'd actually rather, and I've never done this before, I think I'd rather go gunnery and night fighting than gunnery and torpedoes. And this is, like I said, a completely new uh, viewpoint. And one of the other things you could do, especially in the early game when high explosive is going to pay a lot of dividends with fires, you could mix up your ammunition type. <clears throat> um, especially you could mix up, mix up your ammo loadout. I'm going to be okay where it is, because I, I just don't... This is one aspect I should micromanage, but I just don't. I, you know, there's some there's a limit to my uh, patience with the game, and that's, that's, that's beyond it. We will build up better docks. 
Okay. Rebellion in Cameroon? <clears throat> well, we don't really want to ruin our alliance, or do we? I think we will. I, you know what? Actually, no. Such unpleasantries could be contagious. The reason why I want to do this is because I don't really benefit from Germany losing Cameroon. It just becomes uncontrolled, and that means I can't conquer it. Okay, we have destroyers with 600 tons. We do need some more destroyers. I mean, we need more ships, but here's the problem. We have no money. <laughs> Alright, first of all, let's get all of these to Mothball and see if that flags us as... Yeah, it does. Then what if we put... This one to reserve as well? Still no. What if we put both of these to mothball and we take this one off? Huh. Like by tonnage, I think we're okay. So how many ships is this? 15 times six. Ah, oh, that's actually kind of a lot. You know what, this is what I should be doing. What, what kind of crazy talk was I saying? I'm pretty sure that these, they are three times more expensive, but it's like the difference is pretty small. That, that probably makes it okay. It does. And they're just so cheap. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm spending three times 15, 45. I'm probably getting a lot more savings, like one single O'Donnell going from uh, reserve fleet to mothball is saving me about the same, more. So the question then is, well, how many is this? I Yeah, so 15, it is less. Okay, so it is better to put an O'Donnell and put these on reserve. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, I mean, I guess we could min-max it. We could really just do one by one, mothball these. Uh, maybe from the, yeah, from the bottom. <clears throat> Until we reach the, the sweet spot. <laughs> it's just saving, we're saving like nine by doing this, though. It's just probably not worth it. But budget is almost back, and... You have this sense that the budget always grows. That's why I, I'm a little bit more loose with the budget, even when I see only like minus 1,000 and we have 30,000 available. They want to sell us the rights to anything and we'll, we'll accept. It's just, you, you always accept. Um, wing turrets, that's, well, I mean, if I want to make semi dreadnoughts, that could be good. Summary Dreadnought's good for lighting other ships on fire, which I was just talking about. Okay, so this worked. Let's keep going down the list until we meet our, our limit. During a coronation review, there's been a collision between one of our ships and the French. Um, that was clumsy maneuvering by the French. I, you know, going to war with France would be completely okay if we have Germany as an ally. And I probably will have to, I would like to do one to two wars, maybe even three wars, where I don't take any colonies just to build up a good budget. This is just my normal way of playing. Um, I want to paint the map completely Austro-Hungarian, of course, but... You also want to take some of those, you know, opening moves. Let's, I think I can mothball all these. You want to take some of those opening moves to like, make it so that you have a successful game, too. And the, I believe that the benefits you get to the yearly budget are actually to your underlying base economy. And that base economy, just this perfect, perfectly timed pop-up, is actually um, one of the things which will grow exponentially. It's very, a very small exponent, but it is small increases of like 1%. So it is added to that total. And the colony numbers are not added to the, the budget which expands with your nation as time goes on. So it's even, it's it's quite important to, I mean, I would say if you want to min-max, you want to be very optimal about budget, you really cannot take colonies in the first few wars. Really ever. But at some point the increasing budget doesn't give you as much satisfaction. I mean, you don't have the, the time left in the game uh, to take over colonies with the money you're getting, so it doesn't matter. Now they're trying to sell, I mean, everyone's so nice and friendly. We go buy all the technology. 
and the US is helping our submarine research, this is really good. And that is, with the monthly balance positive now, we do have the option of designing a new ship. What would I th what would I want to do? A new destroyer is what comes to mind, because our, our current destroyers are not in great shape. We only have a few of them. Five of the Cronenbergs left. I mean, they have served themselves extremely well. They will be remembered for sure. Um... But that said, their success has also been an inspiration that maybe I shouldn't neglect destroyers. Not like that, though. Okay, so what I'd like to do, with 600 tons, I should very easily be able to do this. I would like to get four um, port and starboard. Maybe we'll do H and I. And then like a Q and a W, something like this. No, not like this. So instead of a Q and W, let's go R and W. Yeah, okay. And you know what, this is just, these are too far forward, or back. Let's go for D and E. And now we don't want secondary guns, oh my god, wait. Oh my god, those are all just three inch guns. No, 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 that's nonsense. We do have quality one three inch guns, so I probably will go with those. Okay, so now we're over the weight limit. Make them short range and speed, and now we actually, can we get another knot? We can! The rest of the weight will go to, wow, so this kind of worked out well. 220 rounds. We are able to get the torpedo loadout I want. In fact, I don't like R. We will go back now to Q or P. P. Yeah, okay. Uh... It's just aesthetics, it doesn't really matter. I will go back to Q. Okay, that's fair. And then I know I said I wasn't really gonna care about this, but it just, it wouldn't look right if I didn't move that. So let's do that. <laughs> the Viana Coffee House. So yeah, this is one thing I forgot to do. At, at the end of these wars, I'm gonna have to go back and like delete the names that we already, as much as I would love to name the Vienna Coffee House as one, um, I'm not gonna be able to do that. So we will have to name this after a destroyer suggestion, actually. But am I going to commit to this? Let's look at the budget real fast. I think that despite having designed what I think is a very good ship, we're not going to do it right now. And the reason is, I want to build up some more funds. As it is with only 750, we'd be able to build like maybe two of these at a time. So it'd be, it'd be like too much money wasted just on the design study. So on we go. Medium wing turrets enable secondary wing turrets up to 10 inches in caliber. Just allows us to have pretty, uh, so a lot of secondary dual turreted like 10 inch guns, you know, like this semi dreadnought. Another thing I could do is start building up my submarines, but let me wait for one technology of submarines to take over first. We're already at two, that's pretty good. And I saw that the U.S. was helping our, our submarine designs, so that's also very helpful. Um, we will handle this discreetly. Like, I'm pretty happy with both the U.S. and the German situation right now. Although, yeah, I mean, if we're going to go to war with France, then we... Oh, okay, that worked out well. But we really don't want the, the, <laughs> the Germans to be mad at us. We want them to be our friends. Okay, what else? We don't want to go to war with the British. They would still at this point even, I think, probably crush us. Oh yeah, I'm seeing some mistakes here. Active fleet working up. Uh, we won't, We don't want any active fleet. We want all mothballed. And that means there's nobody in active fleet. There's only reserve fleet or mothballed, which is how we save the most amount of money. I mean, it didn't really change that much. Is it time to build some submarines? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually wondering, maybe we need some more corvettes. Because we don't have any mine-sweeping corvettes. Might be, actually, that might be where I actually go with the, <laughs> the extra money. And there's a, a reason, there's a reason why I like to build corvettes early. Negative 292 horsepower, that's not, that's not good. Um, it's because these are gonna last me for the rest of the game. At least they could. And uh, yeah, we'll put the minesweeping on these. Yeah, I'm 
but I'm, I'm liking this. 600 tons, that's what I got the other ones at. Yeah, I like that number. We can probably just add the colonial service to these as well. Um, we want the money drop. It happens here, right? The other ones must have been 17 knots as well. They were. Also 17 in colonial. Yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of doing the same thing over and over here. The three inch guns, we'll delete the aft turret. We just want to make these as cheap as possible. Just super, super cheap. Which is what we did with the other ones. One three inch gun. Those weren't even quality one, but now we have quality one. So we'll, I mean, these will be as advanced as they need to be for the rest of the game, which is crazy. Unless I wanted to add K-Guns, but honestly what I'll probably do at some point is delete this Francesco Carla class. Um, just retire those because they don't have the 3 inch quality one, I mean the quality one gun. I'm not going to refit those ships, you got to be kidding yourself. Um, but what I could do is get new ships with um, K-Guns for the better ASW. And the mine sweeping ones, if you have mine sweeping, ASW suffers a 50% penalty. So doesn't really, to me, it won't really matter to put K-Guns on the minesweeping ships. I would do it from a new class, but I won't refit ships, which is, in my opinion, a waste of money. Okay, so let's suggest a new name for this. Innsbruck, I like that. That one, that I can stick with. So the Innsbruck, Colonial Service. Um, let me cancel this real fast. I, I will overwrite it, because uh, range is fine, but speed... You know, this doesn't do anything for the cost, so I think I am going to leave it as is. We have a lot of weight remaining, but as long as it lets us get away with it, then, well, then that's what we want to do. Okay, 127 for a new design, that's fine. Okay, he's finally starting to complain. Let's get a few of these back to reserve. There it is, we just needed to two. So we really hit the perfect balance point now. Which makes me happy. Um, we will make the Nage a national hero. Italy, always a good opportunity to go to war. We'll just go ahead and build this thing. And we'll get... Let's see, we have 900 in the bank. So we can get 8 of them right off the bat with you know, barely scratching our budget. That's good to me. World economy has recovered after the crisis. Hooray! Look at that, actually, that, that, wow, we almost wiped out our, our monthly balance deficit. Oh, no, I wish I could do that again. But, submarines? Oh, okay, wow. So submarines have improved, which means it is time. By the way, is the new World Waves expansion doing anything about submarines? I assume that they will be. Well, this is going to be a bit expensive, but... And you, you gotta, in my opinion, at least, you really gotta go big or go home on submarines. Either build like 40 of them or don't build any at all. So we're gonna wait a little bit. Because, you know, by that math, I, I, there's no way I can afford to get 40 submarines at the present time. Did our dock size only increase by 1,000? That is, I thought these were, I thought it was mandatory for it to go up by 2K. A colonial crisis has arisen with, aha! Uh -huh. We must safeguard our interest, and if it leads to war with Italy, we are prepared to fight it. Yeah, one of these, yeah, I was gonna say, one of these is actually, are they all budget up? That's good. This one's actually budget up, tension down. But I like this the best. Because Italy is like my primary target. And we just won a war with them after sinking a lot of their battleships. We should take a look at the Almanac. I won't do it right here, I could, but we'll handle this quietly and discreetly. Let's go to the World Almanac, though, and see what Italy is doing with their, like, <laughs> you know, the fact that they don't have any battleships. The good news is they are not building submarines, so that's good. It doesn't look like they're doing anything, probably because they might be a little bit short on money. You can see we're at almost 100,000. And Italy is at 63. They've just been, they, yeah, they are not in good shape. Um, Russia stole submarines from us. Well, I don't really benefit from going to war with Russia, but it's fine. We'll fight them if we must. Okay. Oh yeah, let's push an ultimatum. 
Ah. Well, that's not good. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, look, I'll learn my from my mistakes at least. We'll, we'll mobilize this time. That's really something, isn't it? You know, when I say that Austria-Hungary's role is to go to war with Italy, like, as many times as possible, I didn't expect it to happen like this. It's kind of what I want, but... <laughs> two wars before 1905, I mean, I guess by 1906 with Italy, this is unexpected. And I guess we're going to have to do some fleet battles here. Oh, yes, I need to put some foreign stations, but that's the good news about having all these new corvettes. Probably don't need all these. We'll just get all the ones who are in poor shape up to trade protection. That's 18, and it doubles our trade protection needs. We're doing good. Okay, a fleet battle. We will accept. I'm guessing, by the way, before I hit this button, that they will decline. They did. So we're destined to win this the the war here. This is probably a short bombardment with light cruisers. And that will not make me happy. Okay, at least it's the armored cruisers, but I kind of suspected that this would be the case. Where's the bombardment target? Yeah, it's this is these are terrible missions. I should have declined this one, especially since they declined it a mission. Uh, where are we? We're early morning, so we do have an opportunity to get over there, but I already know what's going to happen. We're going to hit a mine, <laughs> so that's a bummer. Let me, I know that it would be nice to do this formation, but honestly, with the daybreak, with the arrival of the sun, uh, we do not need this scout formation. Just go to line ahead, and we'll make you support roll, but that's just doesn't really matter since I'm commanding you manually, and with manual control, it doesn't really matter. Then they'll go wherever I want. The one thing that does matter is the formation. So not having them super spread out, we will not have the the vis the, the full visibility that we could otherwise. But I think it's a good exchange for keeping the the light cruisers in fighting shape. They're obviously a lot better fighting as a group than just one over here, one over there. We're just going to keep moseying this way. The tension builds. Who do we have? I, I didn't even try to do any like fleet formation management. We have the entire line. I think this is every single Cronenberg we have left. The entire destroyer fleet is in this fight. That's kind of funny. Despite only going 16 knots, the other light cruisers were having a hard time catching up. And right now we're in a very tight formation, which is very appropriate for approaching the land target. Aha. Uh -huh. This is probably a transport. Probably. But preemptively I'll turn off... Um, let's also tell these guys not to launch torpedoes. Look how fast it goes away. These transports, I tell you. Yeah, so it is a transport. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, now, you see how slow, how much slower it's going now? It like zips around and then suddenly, oh, I'm a transport? I won't go 20 knots. <laughs> it's really funny. And there's the land target. I don't know if we already sank the transport. Yeah, we did. And you know what? Yeah, we will detach and pick up survivors because that's just free points. All right, we're starting to fire here. Just need to destroy this and then we can escape. And I, I don't I don't have any intentions of sticking around um, longer than the target is destroyed. So we're going to do this and we're going to double back and we're going to attack again and hopefully destroy it. And then we're going to get a, get the heck out of here. I've already done some good damage. It's quite nice. By the way, thank you, Katori or Gaskin. I think it was good, Katori. I can't tell you guys apart. Um, who mentioned that the red is the primaries and the yellow is the secondaries, which means it's the gray 
that is the on incoming um, shots. So we're just firing everything at this land target. Oh god, don't misunderstand. So, well, it's fine. We, I'm hoping that this is already the last fight, uh, the last battle we have to go through. I mean, the last pass. This is, this is a lot of hits. What are you doing, good sir? Why don't you just rejoin your... Ugh. Yeah, no kidding. Well, I thought that that might be the last pass. And right now, make no mistake about it, the enemy fleet is homing in on us. So we're just going to make sure we stay. Let's even go down to 14 knots just to make sure our stokers are completely... Oh god, here they come. Well, it would have been nice to get these guys and destroy it and get the hell out of here, but now we're going to fight them with less ammunition than I would normally. Armored cruiser. Now, I don't have to worry too much because Italy is like really, really deficient of good ships. Thankfully for us. Now, are they just steaming to port? <laughs> that is hilarious. What the heck are they? They're just going right to port, I think. Like, there's no way I'm going to fight them at their port, but at the same time, we have to finish off this target. We do have 11-inch guns, which means we have very good range. Yeah, we're, we're not going to bother. Just hit them and go. Okay, let's get out of here. Should be a pretty big success for us. Don't understand what you're doing. Why don't you just go reattach? That should bring him back into the fold. There it is. All right, and now we'll just saunter out of here. At a cool 14 knots. I don't even know if the Italians have any of ships available out anymore. I'm gonna have you guys go actually go to AI control. Wait, not AI control, not you. How can you go to, I meant the light cruisers. <laughs> uh, I only wanna control the, the armored cruisers. Let's have these guys come back this way. Just want them to like have a, a glimpse of the opponent. So, yeah, what are they doing? All right. I'm starting to think we might make a run at them. Because they pin themselves against the land, which is like not a good spot for them. It's a very good spot for my destroyers. Okay, they're starting to turn around. Is that what they're actually going to do? Yes. Okay, this is gonna be glorious. The Cronenbergs, the, it's the last charge of the Valkyrie here. <laughs> okay, we have these guys holding fire last I checked, good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. I actually wanna slow you down a little bit. You guys are going in almost too fast. Oh my God, you see that? What the hell happened there? Okay, no longer, I, I can't make out anything in this mess. Okay, so just start launching anybody who can. I assume you are, but how the hell is that out of arc? <gasps> Somebody. How's a shot? What the hell? Okay. I, I don't understand this at all. We'll, we'll take it. I mean, I'll take whatever shot you're going to give me, but that was very unexpected. <laughs> Would not have expected that to be the solution, the only solution we were able to get. Yeah, so they're kind of all mixed up right now, I think, is what's going on. 
Oh, we got her. We got her. We got her. All right, let's see what else we can get. Who are you firing at there? I didn't, I thought that was a different ship. Where is the darn Cronenberg? Oh, right here. So you should have a shot at the Vettor Pisana. This one. Because we don't realize she's not going to beat herself. It's kind of stupid. Like, obviously, she's not going to go that way. Just fire your torpedo, the, like, over here. The only place she can go. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, we will continue. The, we'll stay the course here. Yeah, <laughs> we... <laughs> Of course, we shot our torpedo into the land. Let's check this out again. So not expecting them to have a shot. Who are you? Yeah, you could have a shot. Maybe you already launched. Okay, what do we have here? Notice that we had a shot a couple times. Yeah, um, no, she's gonna come back north, so that's actually not a good angle. That's even worse. We need something like 296. I don't think that that'll work either. We're gonna, I think we're gonna have to wait one more turn. And then the Wildcats, where are you? Oh yeah, you're. that's the perfect one. Friendly ships in line of fire, oh no. Oh yes, now that's perfect. That's the perfect one. And don't tell me that there's no friendly ships in the line of fire there. That is very much in the line of fire. But okay, we'll take it. And Bratislava is launching torpedoes as well. Oh my gosh, did we have a collision? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so this is this is something else. Um, what happened here, as far as I can tell, is my own destroyer took the torpedo that my other destroyer fired at the armor cruiser for her. Now, don't ask me why their ships disappeared, but this ship is currently uh, rammed. Now, what that means, because it's this one is sinking, can we... Yeah, it's just funny, because they they actually disappeared, which is, yeah, a bug, obviously. There's a bug here. Rule of Waves is not a game free of bugs, so... If you had that idea in your head, dispel it right away. Um, it's very unfortunate because I would like to launch torpedoes, but um, okay, let's let's go this way then. Okay, well, the, the, I saw two torpedoes go that way. Unfortunately, they both missed. But the wildcat's here. If she can survive long enough for. A, Oh my god, I know what happened. They entered port. They entered the port. They just, they entered the port. And now, we might as well limp home. Okay. Wildcats. Well, let's go down to zero here. So Wildcats, like you should detach or you're dead. Uh, okay, never mind. Wildcats is not gonna make it. Well, this is um, this is one of the things when when you're within a certain range of the port, you are able to enter it at will. I abuse this all the time, so I, I really can't fault the AI for it. Did Wildcats actually make it? <laughs> They're still sending some of their warships that are out there home. Okay, well, let's get you guys up to something a little more reasonable. Six times more reasonable. All right, now we'll go and chase the destroyers, and this will soon come to a close. So where are you destroyed the target? Like, what else is there to do? Okay, 
So yeah, this is very unfortunate. We have, uh, yeah, this is very unfortunate. We lost the destroyer and they didn't lose anything. Why? Because they teleported into port despite having rammed our ship. And you can see that it had heavy damage. Oh my God, it was gonna sink. It, in fact, it just, what? This is the biggest BS I have ever seen. Wow, that is some serious BS. How? Hmm. No, it's not the biggest BS I've ever seen. I should correct that. It's a lot, but it's not the worst. Uh, this is just the way the game goes sometimes. Uh, we'll just have to ignore it and move on, knowing that we'll have to get them in the next one. And uh, get them in the next one is uh, probably going to be the, the way this the rest of this episode goes, really. Okay. Improved fire control subdivision something or other. Not fire control, subdivision damage control. So yeah, no activity, which is not surprising because they don't have any submarines and I have plenty of ASW. Hmm. Was it really... Okay, we're, we are blockading them. Okay, so we can probably just... What? Why does this keep resetting? We can probably just hit next turn enough times. Okay, I'll accept. Damn it. This is the kind of fight I think I'd like to fight out in the open. Okay. Let's go squad max. Let's do this. This is what I, I think I would like to fight. A fair two on two. I'll take it. Not sure exactly what it is yet. I think it's a two on two. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just close the range and we'll see if they are agreeable to a, a surface duel. This is where the game really shines too. It's the surface duel, right? We're gonna get close because I don't mind getting close. I have really good guns. I'm gonna do a lot of damage anytime I hit. Okay, so we are, the hits are just being exchanged back and forth here. I think we're actually starting to get the upper hand. Can just uh, quickly summarize here. We took a belt extended hit that did not penetrate. Um, we took a hole hit that did not penetrate. We had a near miss. Another hole hit that did not penetrate. So the first four hits in this fight went their way. We finally landed our first hit. Oh, some 20 minutes after the engagement began. And then we took two more hits that did not penetrate. Uh, and then we started hitting them with six inch guns. Those probably didn't penetrate them. But we did land, it looks like two 11 inch shells. That's something. I would love to see more of that. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're starting to get some damage in. And seeing them go into line of breast formation, that's where you should be terrified that they're going to come after you, because that's normally what happens. I am a little surprised. Are these ships faster than me? They are. Okay. Besides being lighter, which will also make them faster than us. Let me actually steam up the outside of my cruisers. And then I will eventually make a torpedo run of them. You know, if the surface battle fight doesn't go my way. Yeah, they are kind of turning away from us. So the only way I can uh, bring the battle to them is just by forcing action. Oh! Oh, we have a landmass here. That That's helpful. Yeah, detacher. Okay, this is... Uh, stop, this is important. They're going to have to make a decision. I think that they'll still go west, but... We'll only find out... Yeah, we will only find out in a moment. And we do have our destroyers who are going to be able to cut them off. <laughs> and they cannot teleport into port this time. So they may even go the other way. I'm not too worried about a four inch coastal battery. We'll go nose on with them just to figure out what they're trying to do first. Yep, they're trying to cut off the other way, which is smart. I mean, I have eliminated the pass, so they have to go around now. 
but it has bought my cruisers time all their maneuvering to hopefully land a few hits Yep, there's at least one hit. It's crazy to think that this is how engagements would go, but you know, we're just no victors. Just just an empty fight. The Cronenberg will detach again, but that's okay. We well, we can't just head due north, unfortunately, because Yeah, there we go. Um Oh, their destroyers are just I don't know what they're doing. Grave mistake on their part. Grave mistake on my part. Get my destroyers too. I probably could go back to AI control. Right now we want to make sure we round the corner. They're going to do some goofy things. You can see it says over here every now and then we need to clean our grates. Man, they have another... Well, they have, certainly have plenty of coastal batteries. And this is really where our destroyers would shine. Um, I don't want to go in like this because their destroyers are there, but we're going to do it anyway, I guess. Oh, we took some, some nasty fire there, but we have them where we want them now. So even though we're taking a lot of the, the hits, we are in perfect position for our run, and here we go. Um... I'm not sure this is the best angle. Indeed, there is not even any solutions. Yeah, oh, okay. But once we'll just run them into the wall, <laughs> the land. Oh, or or this. That's that was not what I was expecting. I don't even know what's going on, but I know that we should launch torpedoes. Uh, it's somebody a hundred yards away. We don't have any. What are you talking about? I'm assuming that we've launched torpedoes. We have. Good, 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 good. Oh my god, I still my beating heart. We're launching two torpedoes. I think we're launching them both. What torpedoes do you have left, mister? Yeah, you have your port side. Perfect. So we launched two torpedoes at the heavy cruiser here. I'm going to turn with her then. Um, this is quickly going to go our way. Okay, we got one hit. Now we need the Bratislava to try to... Oh, whoops. So we're going to try to get the next one in line. Okay, good enough. I'm not really confident about that, but I'll fire a port side torpedo, that's fine. And let's get the Bukovina to actually make a U-turn. Because <laughs> we are able to close in with our armored cruisers now. Oh yeah, that happened, didn't it? That was unfortunate that we had that turn thing where, you know, just multiple turns happen. We should have the best of them now, though. We're even starting to land more of our 11-inch shells, which is also kind of, you know, they're not going to, it's not torpedo bad, but it's not good for them. Oh boy, this guy just suddenly went, no, that was a, no, I, th I thought he wouldn't, like, suddenly became very slow. And he did from a, oh god, uh, you break, you turn, avoid torpedoes. Okay. Sir, surely we have some people who can fire on this. Out, huh? Okay, that's good. Good, 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 good. Two torpedoes on the way. That's that's really what I want to see. Try to get you to even go a little bit closer to the shore, just to make a even more of an effort. Man, this, is, this feels like janky. Do you have any more low? Yeah, that's good. Wildcats. Just put a whole bunch of torpedoes that way. Now, we should, probably shouldn't do any more since if we hit with any of those. 
Um, we're gonna sink her. And we have, we have running over a destroyer here. So let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, she, she she's dead. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, well, Bukovina, you've earned yourself uh, a battle star. Okay, well, uh, I guess we'll chase down the remaining armored cruiser. It's not really two to, two to one in terms of guns, because we're not going to be <clears throat> as accurate firing all our guns at her. Shells from the first armored cruiser might be misinterpreted as landing shells from the second one and vice versa means accuracy decreases. But hey, we don't really care. At this point, we've already done everything we need to do to have consider this a very successful mission. So we'll slow down to, to cruise with those. We're really not interested in doing anything other than just keeping our, our armored cruisers alive. Maybe hitting some of these ships. I mean, she's actually quite quick. Yeah, this is what I wanted to do, was just pick on the destroyers where we can. So I'll have you guys go back to AI control. Make sure that this guy's dead. We don't want them to, okay, he is. And let's say no to this one because I don't want to risk losing a destroyer to the coastal guns. Otherwise, let's slow way down and make our way back to Austria-Hungary as heroes. That's the plan. A good engagement. That really showed off the superiority of... Well, I wanted to say my armored cruisers. I think we would have won that without... But it really shows the superiority of a human player over the AI. <laughs> okay, we sighted an un... Ah, yeah, it's fine. We can just get away from that. I don't want these destroyers doing this goofy maneuvering, so let me... Just send them down to the 13 knots manually, and we'll all aim for the nearest port. And then, I'm just gonna crank this up as fast as it'll go. I mean, we could go out of our way to sink this, I guess, but I don't really care, it's just a transport ship. So there we go. We sank three destroyers, an armored cruiser, it's a huge victory. And that's the kind of thing I've come to expect of my Navy. Fantastic. Well, we're going to call the video to a close here. So I'll catch you back for the next one. Until then, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.